I think you asked me about the Trump presidency. I think what is he wrestling with as a leader? Yeah, I, I think I was, leaders, I was, leaders I was leading can, to the cabinet. You know, you, your le- comments on his cabinet that he yeah, needs all those guys. I think on the he same needs page. it, but 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 yes, he has to get people aligned. Leaders cast a shadow. Whether you like it or not, people do what the leader does. And you know, I think people expect the president of the United States to take the higher higher road versus get down in the gutter. So calling people names. You know the 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 off the what seemed like to be off the cuff tweets. Those kinds of things don't really raise his raise his game. And I think what he's got to do is he's got to get people aligned so that we can really get things done. On the one hand, the economy is moving forward. On the other hand, we didn't get health care done. We still got to get tax reform done. We still got to get infrastructure done. And that's not going to happen if he doesn't align people. Do the skirmishes with Senators Corker and Flake impact his potential to get something like tax reform yeah. done or not? The, my question is why? Is this really needed? Do we have to have this? I mean, these guys should have been easy enough to manage. They shouldn't be the problem that they are today. But I think it definitely makes it harder. You know, leaders have to align people all levels of the organization. You got to get your cabinet aligned. You got to get your key Republican uh, leaders aligned, and then you got to bring in people from across the line. That's what leaders so, do. But David, if you, I don't know. There's turning the other cheek, and there is, uh, you know, just just fighting back. And I think a lot of people in his base are happy when he does that. And so he talks about draining the swamp. He talks about problems being with, with establishment Republicans. So he's got, in, in the, the case of Flake, Flake didn't even endorse him for the presidency. He didn't re- endorse yeah. the nominee right. of the Republican Party. Yeah. Both of those guys, if you're draining the swamp, they're, they're out. Yeah. They're both done. He won. They're both yeah. leaving. They're not going to do anything. Else. So on their way out, they're carping and yeah. you know, they're, they're making a lot of noise. But but I, I don't know. There's there's one way of turning the other cheek, and, and I don't know where you get with that all, necessarily all the time. And we've had 20 or 30 years where Republicans have tried. You know, we elected uh, or they elected uh, George W. Bush, yeah. and look what look at the response to George W. Bush. This dignified sort of yeah. a, a nice look at the way that they look what they've done to to uh, to Reagan over the years. I, I and, think and his authenticity, his ability to take off the but, gloves, that's what makes they've him. Been, they've been but going to a knife you know, fight. The Democrats yeah. are, are know exactly what they're doing and they right. know how to solve it. They know exactly yeah. how to play things. And, and you go to a knife fight with a toothpick after a few years, you finally, you know, yeah. you want, yeah, yeah, but I, you see anything to that? No, I, I see that. You're a CEO, I see so I you're, see the that, ultimate, you're the yeah. ultimate canary in the PR coal mine. And I watched yeah. those guys a couple of months ago where they disbanded their council and they couldn't run yeah. fast enough yeah. away from it because they've got, they've got to worry about, you know. They have to worry same. about customers on both sides. Exactly. Of the, exactly. Yeah, and I, I think it's because you have to set a role model for your organization. You have to. You have to. You have to be sensitive to, to other people. Okay. You have to. And I'm not saying that, that well, Trump well, is not that, or he doesn't have that in his heart. I'm not. President you know, I Obama, like. I'd much rather right, see where the Obama world's going today. Lot, right. Yeah. He was. You know, this is not who we are. He was very high-minded right, about it. Right. But then there were his policies. Right. So now you got another guy. Yeah. You got Trump's policies, yeah. and he's not. Yeah. Maybe his job a, now a is to get things done. Right. Okay. His job, very simple, is is you know he's got to get health care done. He's got to get the the tax reform done. If you don't get these things done, you know the you know that's that's not results is what leadership is all about. I don't think you get things done if you don't get people aligned. I think you've got to take people with you to get that done, and I think that's the challenge that he has. Let's see it has nothing it, to do yeah. with you know he could keep his tough style. He could take the gloves off and somebody you see fights that evolution him. But ever the biggest happening? thing, I think, it's hard to you know teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. I think it's in his DNA. It's he likes nine. to fight. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.